offset path tool in Adobe Illustrator is by far one of my favorite tools in Illustrator. In order to offset a path of a text, we need to create an object out of those texts. So what we do is we right click on our text, create outlines, and what that does is it puts all of our letters into a group. Uh, we don't want that, we want these all to be one object. So we're gonna use the Pathfinder tool. If you don't know how to use the Pathfinder tool, you can visit this website down here at the bottom where I have another tutorial on how to use the Pathfinder tool. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you already know how to use it. So we're gonna ungroup all these letters and we're gonna create those to be one object by hitting the far left Pathfinder tool and expand. This is now one solid compound path. Now to, to use the offset path tool, go up to object, go down to path and offset path. You can see right here that I've already set up a hotkey for it on my keyboard so I'm gonna be using my, my hotkey for it from now on, but that's how you get there using the menu. Now, it's, it'll default to 10 points. You can click on preview to see the effect that it's gonna get, and that looks to be a too much for what I wanna do, so I'm gonna bring that down to one. Seems like too little, so I'll put it at two points. That looks good. Now the meter limit, uh, miter limit, will extend the corners to be corners and not round them off depending on the object that you're playing with, and we'll mess with that here in a bit as well. But don't, don't worry about that right now, because uh, with an Arial black font, you really don't need to have more than a four minor limit. So with the two point offset path, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And just to see the different object that it's made, we'll go ahead and change the colors here. So what that did is that created an outline. And some of you may be thinking, well, can I just use the outline? But then you can do this. Select the object below, go to my offset path tool, preview that, make it a little bit bigger. And we can continue doing this until we get the desired logo or a text effect that we want. And you can't do this with just the outline tool. And this obviously can be done with any object that is a path and is not text. So we'll grab a star here and you can see what the minor limit's gonna do here. So make a star, change the color so you can see it. Use the offset path tool again. Click on preview. And I'm going to zoom in here. Now if that minor limit was down to zero, you would not see that this created a point. And I'll go ahead and do that again so you can see. Offset path. Bring the minor limit down to one. Preview. Do you see how it creates an edge right there? And it doesn't come out to a point? That's because your minor limit is too small. So you want to keep bringing that up until it actually creates a point. Two's not going to do it. There you go, three. Now, until we get that point. So if you ever have a very sharp point, that has a very small angle on it and you're getting that flat edge effect and you want it to continue out and mimic your your uh, your edge, then just bring up the minor limit. Uh, I usually do increments of five until you get the desired effect that you want. And as you can see with this offset path tool, you can create some pretty cool logos. For this and other tutorials, you can visit this address that's on your screen here, www.vidis.com forward slash AI underscore tutorials. I'm also having a link on the, uh, in the description of this video.